Hello, it's Jane from Earth Palette here and today I thought we'd dye some yarn. I've got my yarn which has been soaked in water um, for at least 20 minutes to half an hour to make sure there's no dry spots in it. But the first thing we'll do is lay out our plastic wrap to put the yarn on to dye it. Make sure you've got enough plastic wrap out to cover your yarn. This yarn is a four ply sock yarn, sock weight yarn um, from made in Australia that I get from Nundal Woolen Mills um, and I put one tie, extra tie around it in acrylic which doesn't dye but it means I can pick up my yarn easy so I can find it easy. Okay this is a 75% merino wool, 25% nylon yarn okay i have my dies and that's the way we're going to put them on okay now so i start at one end hang on might have to move this we're out of out of range okay so i just put my yarn my sorry my die on Give it a bit of a pat. Green. Blue. I have a cloth to wipe my hands in between the colours so they don't cross contaminate the colours. And I just give it a bit of a pat down. And then I repeat my colours. So I am actually going to have to slide this along, otherwise you won't see the other end of the yarn painted. Okay, there we go. Blue. Wipe my hands, red, I'll put a little bit more red there, well this is actually rubine, um, rubine? no it might be ruby red actually, and a bit more yellow. So wherever the yarns meet you'll get a slight mix of colours there, but not a lot. And then I just grab both pieces both ends of the yarn and flip it over and then I touch up any white bits that need it. Make sure my dye goes all the way through the skein. A bit more blue there. A bit more of the ruby red. Okay. I might just wipe down here just so that we don't get too much cross contamination of colours. And then I wrap it up. I don't get too excited about any little patches of white. I think it adds to the individuality of the, the yarn. And then I just fold it up, put it in a tub, and leave it till it's set. I usually leave mine overnight. The temperature here today is about 30 degrees. Um, the warmer it is, the quicker your yarn dye will set in your yarn. Okay? Okay, we come back with our other skein of yarn as I said I forgot to say yesterday this is a superwash yarn which actually does take up the dye a little bit easier and quicker than non superwash um, you can see when I squeeze it a bit there's not much color left in that where I've dyed it so the dye is set and ready to rinse out I use these lingerie bags that um, you get from the supermarket. They're pretty cheap. I just put the whole skein in there and um, 
we are a bit drippy here. Okay, zip it up, put it in my twin tub spinner like that, spin it out to get all of the liquid out, and then I rinse it in cold water and hang it up to dry. I'll come back once it's dry and show you the dry yarn. Okay, I'm back with the yarn now that it's fully dry. Um, colours are nice and bright. My tie, which is acrylic, as you can see, is totally undyed. Easy to make it uh, for me to pick up the yarn and give it a good whack to make sure the colours are even. Our colours are, where do we start? Yellow. Yep, that looks about right. Yellow, the ruby red, blue, green, and reverse order. So that's all pretty good. Once you've wound this into a ball, it's ready to knit. It comes, this yarn comes with plenty of figure eight ties, which makes it nice and tidy when you're dyeing and not a messy skein. You do need those. When I'm finished, I put my hand through both ends, twist one around, probably about nine or 10 times, and then put it through the end loop. And all done. Bit of adjusting. One skein of yarn ready to use. You can cut the tie off. That one there. 